Hey, good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Wicked Curry Confusion Fusion. This is episode two. Today, we're going to make something very simple but very delicious. It consists of whole moon and masoor, which is, again, these are two basically uh, protein. Let me just kind of go through what basic ingredients should be. So we're going to have, as you see, mung dal and masul dal. I put it in, soak it for half an hour and in the pressure cooker, four whistles. Simple, nothing special, a little bit of salt in it. Now, other preparation, one onion, lots of garlic, chili, and uh, ginger, one tomato. I'm putting this extra, it's called arugula. It's not necessary and a little bit of cilantro. Now some dry ingredients, definitely turmeric, salt, chili pepper, asapatota, which is a hing, some dania jeera powder or cumin and uh, cilantro seed powder, a little bit of mango powder, other main ingredients is cumin seeds, corum seeds, a little bit, Definitely it's optional is a moon ghee and some oil so the ghee don't burn and that's it. So we get started here. So about a teaspoon of ghee. It gives you a nice flavor. And about same your vegetable oil or any other oil that you like to use, like olive or mustard, whatever, they all work fine. Let's start. With the butter melted. A good amount of asafoetida or hing. Quite a bit of cumin seeds. Keep it on low so they don't burn up and a tiny bit of ajwain or coral. And as they start popping, I'm gonna add onions, garlic, ginger, and chili, and let them saute a little bit. this point add a little bit of salt so your onion can cook nicely and give out the water and then you have to add salt later on once you add both together so salt to your taste and let's add some timber
onion, garlic, <coughs> chili, everything is sauteing pretty well, getting translucent. At this point, add your tomatoes. Go for about a minute or two as tomato gets cooked here. This I'm going to add some arugula since I have them. It's not part of the recipe, it's definitely optional. Arugula has got a nice uh, flavor. You can add spinach if you like spinach. So, there is no particular recipe that you have to follow. The way we cook here in our trailer office is to go by what your heart tells you. And mine says it tastes good, looks good. If it looks good, it tastes good. <laughs> you can see my mold is pretty well done. I'm going to add about a bottle of water. I want to make it nice and liquidy. So you can eat it with rice, with roti, with chapati, with paratha, whatever you feel like. And this concoction is getting done. simmer for a while. And this will give you a nice, 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 nice soup if you would. Now, at this point, you want to add a little bit of salt since we didn't add a whole lot of salt. Just a good pinch. Also add some Human coriander powder, which gives it a nice taste. I would I like a little garam masala. It gives you a nice taste also. And finally, nice this is not a Kashmiri chili, this is a hot chili. So remember, if you're not a spicy eater, go with your guts and just add what you like. Or you can use Kashmiri chili so you get nice flavor and the color. Me here in trailer office loves things a little on the spicy side. Last but least, I'm going to add dry mango powder, about a spoonful or so, and it gives you nice tartness. Half a lime, squeeze in, it also works really good. Okay, just remember not a whole lot because we already added some dry mango powder. Finally, a little coriander at the end as we're getting close to finish. And so now I'm going to let it turn down the heat a little bit, let it simmer, and get done here in the next two minutes. It's pretty much done. We're going to do a testing and enjoy ourselves. Have a great afternoon. Hope you like it and try it.
If you like, give us a thumbs up and there is a little bell. Hit that subscribe so new recipes that we cook, you get to watch. Maybe you'll enjoy our confusion fusion of curry.